Hey, today I'm gonna to be talking about this camera, the Canon 7S rangefinder. This camera is really cool and I've been wanting one for like a real long time. So when um, I found this in a thrift store, I was really excited. Um, it came with it came with a 50 um, 1.2, which isn't the rarest lens that would come with this, but I still think it's like pretty awesome. This camera has a lot of features and it definitely was um, the camera to have if you didn't have a Leica back in the day. I think it still holds up. I, I have a lot of fun shooting it. And it's really awesome the fact that it's 1.2 and like how awesome that is in low light. It didn't take me long to realize that the sides of this lens are really, really soft. So you really have to put your subject in the middle of the frame, which, you know, a lot of times doesn't look the best, but um, you really need to because it'll go out of focus really quick if you recompose or put something too far in the side of the frame. So unfortunately the meters on this type of camera take old style batteries so you really can't find an equivalent nowadays but um, if you meter a different way you can get your exposure correct um, and not really need it but it would be cool if the meter still worked but um, say la vie. So the shutter speeds go from a thousand to one second and then bulb and it does have a PC sync cord and a cold shoe. And I've only shot with this a couple times with the PC sync, but it does work, which is cool. I don't really shoot, um, usually 50 millimeters is kind of wide in studio for me, but you know, a lot of people say that rangefinders are really easy to focus. Um, I guess maybe my eyes aren't the best, but um, I have a little bit of trouble focusing, but um, if you stop down, it's significantly easier. And if you have a subject that isn't running around. The first time I shot with this, I was actually shooting um, kind of around a family party with kids and they were um, running around and it was, you know, basically impossible, but um, it was still fun. The uh, knob over the um, shutter release is how you um, rewind. A is for, um, all right, let's shoot. And then R is uh, rewind. And the knob over here is how to change the frame lines in the uh, viewfinder. Right here it's 50 and if you turn it one way it's uh, 85 and the other one's 35. Another cool thing is when you um, go to open the back there's a little there's a crank right here and it actually just pulls down this little um, lock I don't know catch I guess and then you pull that little tab and then the back opens. I think that's really cool the way that um, it's just like a little lock. I don't know. I just think that's awesome, the way that looks. So in conclusion, I think this is a really cool option for um, people that want to find a rangefinder. I was really lucky to be able to find this one, um, but I think you'd be able to find, you know, comparable ones around, you know, not too expensive, but, um, you know, they're kind of mid-range, I suppose. I don't know. I just like shooting with it. I think it's fun. They're really inconspicuous, too. People, um, people lighten up a little more when you have this kind of thing. It's like if you have a DSLR or an SLR, people kind of get, whoa. But um, this one's a little like, I don't know, I hate to say cute, but um, disarming maybe. People, uh, people lighten up when you um, shoot with this, which is fun. And uh, it's kind of nice to get that kind of reaction out of people when um, you want to photograph, you know, photojournalistically, really. So I definitely recommend it. And uh, I'll see you next time.